just run through a few things here, what's happening with the uh, Maui Tidal Energy Project. Um, quite a bit has happened. Uh, just to update you on uh, on a few things. Uh, at the present time, we're uh, just trying to uh, integrate uh, uh, the payment system for deposits into the shares, uh, my shares for the uh, solid hydrogen, and uh, 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 it's been a little bit difficult with PayPal and uh, uh, other mobile phones. We're just trying to uh, pick one out, and I think we've come out with PayTag and uh, uh, Tag uh, Attitude. Uh, that's the name of the uh, mobile phone system, which I think uh, pretty well suit us uh, for what we're trying to do is to attract uh, uh, people around the world uh, who have uh, not much to spend. Uh, we're looking at between uh, uh, five uh, pounds and 60 pounds uh, for shares. And so that's manageable. And we just use the uh, mobile phone. And uh, uh, so that means the cheaper mobile phones are, are adequate. And uh, just the mobile number uh, would link them uh, straight to us through the website, which is on the screen of the computer. Uh, they can log in into pay tag or tag uh, uh, attitude uh, company, and they will uh, link uh, them to us and make payment that way. Simply just an ordinary phone, mobile phone. Uh, uh, it'll take only about a few seconds just to uh, transfer money from their account in Africa or China or Egypt, uh, Rhodesia, Australia, Samoa, uh, anywhere in the world really. And it just takes just a mobile phone, they just dial it and puts it to the sound of a chirp, comes across when they dial in to um, our website and through uh, Paytag, it'll chirp like a bird and it's, as soon as you bring this in the line of the computer or the terminal, uh, the, if, uh, we get a terminal with the merchant, uh, then it'll pick it up and that's the only time it will log you in and authenticate your phone number to you and so they can make payments and as quick as that, and cuts out the middleman. No fuss, no bother. And so uh, they're able to do that, and we're hoping to um, uh, have print out for them for the uh, share certificate and any balance or um, uh, track of the uh, account um, as it progresses. So we're hoping to launch this next week now. It's been the 28th of June when we're supposed to uh, launch this uh, share off. We did actually, but it hasn't been activated on the website. It's still trying to build a website. And that's proving difficult too uh, uh, by myself. And so, however, we'll manage it. I'm hoping that you can uh, see what's going on, uh, how we're doing it. First time it's going to be done like this, shares. Uh, without going on a share market, we, we don't really want to go there and just want to keep it clean and have our own banking system. We'll be in pound, pound, uh, British pound sterling uh, currency. And so uh, um, now if we're able to do that, then that's very efficient, very fast, and we'll be able to, uh, to uh, accumulate the money inside our own bank here on behalf of all the uh, people around the world. I just have to figure out the uh, currency uh, exchange. It looks like they'll exchange it before it comes into the account from their currency. And so they'll see this when they go to deposit that the uh, pay tag hopefully will convert it for us. And so the money gets split if they put $60 in, 60 pound notes, are, sorry, 
and to uh, my powerhouse uh, limited company that's the uh, power shares there's a billion power shares then the 60 pounds will get split 50 50 50 goes into uh, bullion vault and 50 into my bank so you've got uh, the my bank on one side and then you've got uh, uh, pay tag um, uh, pay tag my bank and um, uh, uh, bullion vault um, gold so you've got gold and hydrogen just the two products that's it and so the gold will be worth more than the hydrogen at the present time until the hydrogen starts producing uh, uh, jet fuel then this will be value up until it catches up with the gold and so we'll be able to value it from the gold to the hydrogen for a start when, when it's not ready yet and then when the hydrogen gets going it will value the gold that we should have in our account in real solid gold because this is solid hydrogen metal two metals solid hydrogen metal and solid gold metal right? two metals one gold is worth more than this one and this one should be worth more than that one before long okay so that's that's how we're going to do it and there's more water in the ocean uh, uh, than gold okay so the more water the more product we have here <coughs> outstrips the gold right that's our currency that's the currency that's there now with bullion gold okay so it'll go like that and once it goes like that it'll stay like that well, well we won't go back the other way it'll go that way Okay, so I just wanted to explain just how easy it's going to be without the banks, straight through. Okay, no fees and all the rest of it, drama, but just straight money and uh, from any other money into this Moai account. And I'm hoping that before long we'll be able to trade uh, on between ourselves, cooperatives. Uh, we wouldn't have to go to no share market, we're not going to go on the share market. Uh, uh, we don't want to do that because it's mixed up with something we want to investigate. The bonds, the uh, stock bonds, uh, because those, that's people's birth certificates and, and all that. So we're going to investigate that and pull them out and put them in here. And that way they've got their bond back safe on there. Huh? And put it into the hydrogen. And they'll, get, they'll see the returns, not hidden where it is now, with the bonds. The bonds... The, the Bonds and the Crown uh, Corporation uh, has not disclosed to them what their bonds are. They're selling people. We're not going to do that. Right? We don't have any mortgages. All that's gone. And we'll own everything. The members will own everything. So we're just starting off very, very simple. And true, honest uh, systems. It's used in Africa. That's where we're getting this model from just pay tag using in Africa and very simple to pay everything by mobile phone we're, we're, we're behind the times here uh, and they've got this stuff already running out in the world now so as soon as we get a hold of it then we'll uh, we'll uh, implement it uh, within our system okay so that's what I wanted to say uh, and um, sorry about the the delay in uh, um, and uh, getting the shares going because I knew a lot of people were watching and waiting uh, on Twitter and uh, uh, more so on Facebook uh, for this to, to happen but uh, Rome wasn't built in a day so uh, it's been a little while if we had uh, experts doing this it would have been all over and done with no, no, long ago and even the website would have, would have been all over it's taken me ages to build a website but however we got one out of it and uh, uh, out of getting seven or eight websites, I've been frustrated each one of them. And GoDaddy uh, gave me a, a little bit of hard time. So I just parked the rough and just picked up this one with a thought was going to be very good. And that's Wix. Wix, Wix is very good, simple, and not complicated, and didn't jam a lot of stuff down this road. Uh, and so uh, pay tag is the same, very clear. Uh, cut. And we we enjoy we enjoy uh, to use it, 
uh, and if it's simple for me to use, it, it'll be simple for everybody else to use. The Tidal Energy Project is very simple, straightforward, not complicated, and uh, the video is there for you to see how it works, and a uh, very powerful um, tool uh, to, to get an economy going, the hydrogen economy, and that belongs to the shareholders. So we're, we're hoping to get a billion shareholders, investors, in behind this project. We have, uh, uh, we've got a motel in uh, Lotton Point where we're purchasing that and just waiting for the papers to come back. That's, that's a priority because that's where we're going off the East Cape with this tidal energy bridge in the middle of the ocean. You'll see on the website the bridges going around the Pacific. Now there should be 60 of those uh, stretched around the islands, Samoa, Tahiti, Tonga, Fiji, <coughs> Papua New Guinea, uh, around to the East Island, Hawaii, and uh, and so forth, right around. We, we can put those things right in the tide that's spinning around anti-clockwise like that. Stick them straight in, in, the, in the deep and right in the most powerful, roughest seas uh, to pick this energy up. And so, um, so something like that, that's pulling out a hundred thousand pounds, a hundred hundred thousand pounds a day, hundred million pounds a day, sorry, uh, hundred million pounds a day, uh, a revenue for the shareholders. Then you're going to add to that carbon credits, you can add to, to that refrigeration, you can add to that all the logistics gone, the power pylons gone, and uh, as, as TransPower said uh, to me uh, when we were talking about discussing uh, powering putting power into their grid lines, uh, that, uh, oh, and I said, uh, oh, you, um, you wouldn't need the pylons. I said, yeah, that's right, you wouldn't need the pylons. We just fly it in with the helicopter, the uh, canisters, and just drop them 20 tons at a time at the substations or the power stations along the main trunk line. And so uh, uh, that saves out uh, trucking, uh, gone. Gone are the high tension lines, the waste and the power um, uh, uh, through transmission and the radiation coming from those lines. Gone, all that space along the uh, um, land that's taken up by these joint pylons. Gone, there's 800 million uh, dollars worth of pylons put right down to the Waikato uh, and, uh, and could save all that. And now TransPower is putting a new line in uh, across from uh, Papakura to uh, uh, Pakaranga and to Penrose and to downtown Auckland here where I am on the waterfront, Hobson Street, and then across to, uh, to uh, Wairau Road in Takatuna and then up to Albany. Uh, so there's new cables going in and taking it away from the overhead power lines. And so this is where we come in, with the fuel cells and the jet engines and also to fly straight in uh, with the big helicopters and uh, change, exchange the canisters and put some fresh full ones up straight from the um, tidal energy bridge platform in the middle of the ocean. That's about 2,200 kilometers out off the East Cape. Didn't, didn't matter where it goes, but we just pinpoint the right place to put them. And so uh, we're now able to, to purchase the uh, uh, fast ferry uh, that's sitting in Tahiti waiting for us. And these are some of the assets that we're buying with a shareholder. Uh, that's why it's late going up. We should have had that in now to buy these motel at Lotton Point. The, the ship that's ready should have got it by now. And the canisters from Taiwan with the hydrogen generators and uh, compressors and um, uh, all of that equipment, we could have loaded it onto the ship and brought it back here and we would have been on our way by now. And also the three helicopters, the uh, MI-26 uh, from Russia, uh, they're sitting over there waiting to come. So these are just uh, some of the equipment I'll just list out and, uh, and, and put the values there for people to see on the website and what we're buying and what we expect to get. And then the bridge, 
by the uh, uh, equipment for the bridge, the steel, uh, the concrete and everything, we'll probably get it made in Taiwan and ship itself and drive itself out to the site and put itself in with the helicopters, the big helicopters, and fit it. Uh, so these are just uh, 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 some of the things I, I, I should have had in place um, uh, with the shares gone out already. So it's been a big job, uh, just me on my own, to do uh, and, and dream this thing up over the last, what, eight years. Uh, and now it's become a reality uh, of the uh, turbines, the design of the uh, bridge, uh, and also the the uh, technical aspects of it, the the, the latest and superconductors uh, uh, generators, uh, and that method of, uh, of power generation uh, that's not uh, yet seen. Uh, so we've got all of that technology inside this uh, project. And be on videos. Uh, uh, the website's got it there, and and things about Moai. Uh, that, that's our brand name, and patent right. That's uh, those Moai statues. That gives us uh, 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 identification through the world uh, in the biggest states where they are standing, and they were picked up uh, and and shipped over there. Uh, and put up, and little do they know that it, it was built by my ancestors uh, over in uh, uh, Rapa Nui, and uh, there is a reason behind that uh, that belongs to us, and so I'm using that to attract people into the truth uh, behind that uh, uh, statue, but the same as Nubia uh, with the obelisks and the pyramids. Those, those are linked to us, and that's a solid rock foundation uh, for our company and its brand, its logo and uh, also its um, um, uh, beliefs uh, in, uh, in uh, what we do uh, is uh, the truth. Tikanga, Tikanga Māori Māwai Rō uh, from Tahi, uh, Raiatea um, uh, to be exact, uh, is where our, my people come from and they went across to uh, Rapa Nui, Easter Island, and built those under instructions of God. And so they got uh, found out and, and shoved off the land, and then they came down to East Cape here, where we are sitting there, and uh, at least we're still here in person to uh, link ourselves to those Moai. So I just uh, uh, wanted to let you know that uh, we're using that as a base uh, 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 for our, uh, our history of our um, uh, coming together, uh, people around the world, uh, to be neutral and to share in uh, what we're doing. Uh, it belongs to everybody, and uh, we can administer the land ourselves in our own money, uh, currency, for the members, not for uh, some elite people uh, of very few that, uh, that don't live here with us on our land. And the mischievous government in Wellington, uh, John Key, Prime Minister, uh, is in a little bit of spot of bother now. He's got debts around his neck. We have no debts. We are a credit company, and we are we are the creditors, the assignee, and uh, the landowners, the uh, true landowners. We have the titles. You'll see them on the site, all the pictures. Uh, it uh, rings truth. And uh, we challenge anybody in the Supreme Court or the High Court, straight to England, right? Because all that history is over there, not in Wellington here. That is an Australian company that's running this country for us, uh, Māori, and now it's about time we had our turn. They've had enough, they've got their people settled. Now it's time to settle our own people and any other people who want to settle down with us and come here. Uh, they're members, they come here, they have a free right to come here and live with us and we have a free right to go anywhere in the world where we're going to put these bridges up and uh, create our own uh, future, create our own wealth, create our own family uh, cooperatives, uh, which it is, and also to uh, have some governance over our land for once uh, instead of the aliens who are doing it from, from the Crown in England. Uh, we have our own Crown in the Maui and so I just want to share that with you. Uh, in this time, uh, I just thought I'd uh, cut a video here and, and uh, use the time up on my uh, 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 
push out here because I uh, still had a bit more time left but I think the time's going over the clock now uh, anyway uh, for for renewal on the 14th uh, so those are just some of the things I, I just wanted to update you with and uh, I'm happy to say that we're, we're very close uh, to launching the, uh, the shares now uh, and um, get it going, get things going and I hope I can uh, hold on to the ship uh, because the broker is waiting for me to go across to uh, inspect it with the marine surveyor uh, who has to come from Tahiti uh, and go down to where the boat is and um, also the broker has to come from Florida and, uh, and uh, uh, so that's uh, looking forward to that and I hope, hopefully we can get this uh, show on the road uh, it's uh, Friday today, 13th of uh, uh, July 2012, it's been pretty chilly, the heat on all the time, uh, it's getting cold, and um, yes, um, very, very nice weather here at the present time in Auckland, New Zealand. Our base at uh, Rotten Point uh, will uh, we'll have the, uh, um, uh, the people come from overseas to help us, uh, can live with us there on our land, and build this uh, uh, big monster uh, power station in the sea and also uh, we want to acquire some land up in uh, um, uh, North Shore uh, near the airport uh, for the big aircraft and to put new hangars up to house the three big helicopters in there. We also have a uh, uh, an executive seven-seater helicopter to uh, get around quick uh, as a, uh, as a ta taxi for our, our, our people and any executives that come from overseas, we can get them around quick uh, down to the east coast and uh, around to the airport here and also to tour around. We'll have a, a tourism uh, in this project as well uh, as fisheries uh, because we have the field to fly around and uh, all over the place and everything will be running on hydrogen uh, before long, the helicopters, the ships and the vehicles and also the uh, uh, power plants, the um, power generation for the uh, fuel cells and also the power generators, uh, uh, 10 megawatt <coughs> hydrogen powered uh, power plants stretched up and down the country on the uh, grid lines, okay? Until we put uh, pilot stations around in remote areas we can get into and fly into with these big helicopters and uh, where power lines can't get to. Okay, so this is a video that's uh, long enough now and um, hopefully we'll uh, have things going next week. I just want to thank the people uh, uh, I've been involved with to uh, get this far in progress. Uh, this far, my friend across the North Shore, uh, Go Gas, uh, Kevin Reyes, um, he's uh, going across there tomorrow and we'll have uh, discussions again on this project and um, uh, where, where, where to from here. Uh, hey, it's just uh, we're looking for some land over there at the North Shore airfield uh, for these operations to um, bring those planes in and for maintenance and uh, keeping them in trim. Uh, they have three refurbished aircraft, or oh, two, sorry, uh, refurbished aircraft and then one spare one. Uh, the 33-ton Mi-26 uh, Russian aircraft uh, helicopters. Yeah, so those are our, 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 our um, new equipment. Uh, uh, that's ready to go. Thank you very much, and we'll talk to you again soon. And enjoy having a look at the new website and uh, uh, the layout of it. Um, thank you. We'll see you. Bye for now.